just over 130 years, the skyscraper conquers all the forces of nature using the power of human ingenuity. But as buildings soar higher and higher into the sky, they become more vulnerable. Now, the fear of terrorism threatens their existence. Today, a final technological leap forward keeps the occupants of the world's biggest skyscraper safe. A chilling day in September 2001 seems to spell the end of the skyscraper. After the attacks of 9-11, many believe that no super tall building will ever be built again. Mike Hurley was the fire director of the World Trade Center on 9-11. I don't think anyone can say that they could foresee those events of September 11th where planes would be used basically as missiles to fly into the building. Um, but once that occurred, the, the, it became a fire safety issue, and then we began our typical plan to, uh, to evacuate the occupants. Evacuating a skyscraper is a phenomenal challenge. The taller you build, the more people have to walk ever further to get to safety. On 9-11, the difficulties become tangible. You would think that walking downstairs would be um, a lot easier than walking up the stairs, but it, it's not. It's almost as difficult as walking up. Not everyone walks at the same speed, and you may have some people who walk very quickly, people who are more physically fit, some people were injured, maybe didn't have their shoes, they lost you know, um, things along the way, and, and um, it, it sure didn't make it easy for anybody. The Burj Dubai has built-in fire protection, as its concrete backbone is naturally fire resistant. But it's expected to be nearly twice as tall as the Twin Towers. So how do people get out in an emergency? The answer is, they don't. The Burj Dubai contains nine very special rooms, refuge rooms. Built from layers of reinforced concrete and fireproof sheeting, the walls of these rooms withstand the heat of a fire for two hours. Each room has a special supply of air pumped through fire-resistant pipes. Sealed fireproof doors stop smoke from leaking in. In the refuge room, residents can seek shelter from a fire until emergency services bring it under control. There is one of these rooms about every 30 floors, which should allow residents to reach them without too much effort. Refuge rooms are a radical idea, but even the safest place in the world is no good if the access route is blocked by smoke. At this fire college in the UK, Firefighters learn how to rescue people from burning buildings. In a fire, it's not normally the fire that kills you, but the smoke inhalation. 98% of people die in a fire because of smoke. Smoke can turn a stairwell from an escape route into a death trap. If I wasn't wearing this breathing apparatus, I'd soon become overcome with smoke. The stairways could become blocked with people trying to escape. And if this happened, I'd be a dead man. But there is technology that takes smoke out of the equation. The Burj Dubai has an early warning system that guards it round the clock. If fire activates a smoke detector, 
a heat sensor or a water sprinkler, a network of high-powered fans kick in. The fans force clean, cool air through fire-resistant ducts into the building. The fresh air pushes the smoke out of the stairwell and keeps the evacuation routes clear. It's fire safety fit for a 21st century skyscraper. When the Burj Dubai is complete, it will be the tallest structure that mankind has ever built on the face of the planet. Standing on the shoulders of historic engineering marvels, the Burj Dubai really is the ultimate skyscraper. Until someone builds an even bigger one.